<sighs> this is going to be really silly. This is the Hunter's Journal randomizer. On top of all the item locations and items and everything that are added to the randomizer pool, you also have journal entries and information added to the randomizer pool. So each enemy will have two checks, like almost every enemy. So normally you have a check to like unlock the enemy in the hunter's journal, and then you have to kill so many of those enemies in order to unlock extra information about that enemy. Because of how many enemies there are in Hollow Knight, it adds so many extra locations where the important stuff can be hidden behind. But it's kind of fun because you have to kill enemies in order to unlock items. <laughs> I say fun, but <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm gonna be going over kind of what I'm randomizing. Pretty much everything except for Grimkin Flames because I find those kind of tedious. Pretty much everything's gonna be split except for the nail. No starting items, no curses, because we're running the curse randomizer, of course. We're not using any of the extra curse settings except for Cursed Vessel, which means we start with one third soul. So we can only cast one spell with a full bar of soul, but we can unlock more vessels later on. The main thing we're using with the curse randomizer is just the curses, which adds cursed pickups. They mimic normal item pickups, but once you pick them up, they're curses and they have many different effects. There's lots of new effects. Some of them are horrible. I've turned this one off because it slows your nail swing and your dash cooldown. That one I'm not doing. Everything else is okay, and they're just replacing totems and geo rocks. But like, they can be anywhere. They can be in a shop. They can be at a charm location or at a boss. We can spend time killing like 50 enemies to unlock a journal entry, and it's going to be just a curse. But to kind of make up for it, we have lost artifacts. These are just artifacts that you can socket into your nail that give it unique powers. As you get nail upgrades, you unlock more slots. And we actually have nail upgrade pickups turned on so we can just pick up nail upgrades and get them that way is it also room random <laughs> no it is not room random <laughs> that would be a huge mistake even i'm not that dumb let's get started <laughs> so yeah there's nothing i can really show you in the journal yet but eventually we'll get journal entries and i'll be able to show you how it kind of works oh uh, th this is a boss journal entry. This unlocks the information that tells you what killing the enemy actually gets you. So you can see on the right, right above me, defeat one more zero, and then you get 15 geo. So we do get some information at least. And now we have gluttonous husk journal entry. Defeat 14 more and get the mantis lords journal entry. <laughs> so that's helpful. But like the Mantis Lord's journal entry might have something important behind it. So there's just like a chain of having to kill enemies to get something good. Some of the boss journal entries and stuff, like you can see Massive Moss Charger right in the center of the screen. You can see journal entries like that on the map uh, if they're located within one singular room. This is another example of these little flying dudes in that like thorny spot in Green Path. As that enemy only exists in one room, it shows up on the map. For every other journal entry, you see them down here. They're either in logic, so you can reach those enemies to get those journal entry checks, and they're highlighted, so you can see some of the enemies are highlighted and some aren't. The ones that are not highlighted means we can't reach those enemies, so they can't have something that's in the randomizer logic. Yo, lady. And you can see we killed an enemy and we got another journal entry. So, yeah. <laughs> we could just... Oh, I lost a charm notch. <laughs> okay. The curses can be gotten by killing enemies. Perfect. Defeat seven more fungified husks to get a grub. And we got another <laughs> curse. Um, can we restart? I think that lowers my nail damage. So that's perfect. I don't think I can kill these enemies yet. I think you need spells to kill them. I'm actually not 100% sure I don't ever kill these enemies. You have to send their projectiles back to them? Wait, no, that's made up. You're making... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't have that many curses, do I? Wait, this is real? There's no way I didn't know that. I, I probably knew that and just forgot. I mean, in speedruns, we just go past them. It's not my fault. You never knew that. Oh, God. Come on, there's got to be someone in here who also didn't know. Can't be just me. I might need to take notes on, like, if anything important is locked behind Hunter's Journal entries. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. What happened to streaming on YouTube? Uh, I want to stream on Twitch and then edit the VODs for YouTube. That's kind of the plan. And 
Like, it's been working. Oh, Dream Nail. That's a good find. It's been working out pretty well so far. Volume sounds okay. I'll try. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, did that hit me? Oh my god. I don't have that many curses on compared to like the number of checks. <laughs> what the hell, man? I always told people that, you know, eventually I'll get something to spend channel points on that's actually good. Oh, right, Crystal Heart. Now you can spend 100,000 points on a happy grub sound effect <laughs> that lasts for like a fraction of a second. Oh, Balder Shell for four. So the Lush Moss artifact, this heals you up after you deal a certain number of hits. So 25 hits to heal. Yeah, Lost Artifacts is great. Ooh, 655 Geo. Attuned to Jewel. I don't know if I've got that before. Casting Fireball Dive or Shriek grants bonus attack range, movement speed, or damage for five seconds. Right now I have no spells, so. Oh, Shroomal Ogre has the Lumafly Lantern, and that's farmable once I get to Fungal Waste. So this is something I need to get. Oh, Paving Stone. I think that's a good artifact. Dashing decreases attack cooldown and nail art charge time for three seconds. That's good, when I have dash. Cursed by emptiness. Oh, that's, that lowers my health. <laughs> no. Oops, I expect her to get knocked back sometimes and she just decides not to. The Lush Moss artifact is kind of nice. Just getting like random heals from hitting enemies. Dreamwood. So striking an enemy with a dream nail makes him take bonus damage for 15 seconds. Can stack. Would be cool with um oh, 300 essence. That's good. Would be cool with uh, dream wielder. So that makes your dream nail really fast. Watcher night journal entry 14 essence. I'll be getting that. White fragment. Oh, I already got that. Nice. Hera. Oh shit. There's a lot of good stuff for essence. We've already got one piece of the uh, the white uh, king soul. The white king soul. <laughs> Void art. <laughs> oh god, what's this? Upon taking a hit, apply a random permanent curse onto you. The curse vanishes after killing five different types of enemies. With each cast, five additional enemy types are needed. Taking a hit reduces the need that needed kill amount by 10. If no permanent curse can be applied, you'll be killed instantly instead. <laughs> What just happened? Oh, I ha I got hit and it gave me another curse of omen. Greed. Oh no, that that gets rid of a bunch of my geo, doesn't it? <laughs> I would have liked to have that geo, so I can I can farm uh, Shrimal ogres to get lantern, which is pretty nice. But I also need to kill these. Oops. Okay, so this. <laughs> This is already going to be probably much longer than I expected. Like, just judging by the pacing so far. If we just get Mothwing Cloak, it'll help so much. Or, like, some damage. That would also be nice. <sighs> strength for four. <laughs> Look at the charms we got so far. Baldur Shell for four. Strength for four. Lifeblood Core for five. And Joni's Blessing for six. <gasps> Don't be a curse. <laughs> no, it teases me with damage and it reduces my damage. <laughs> what the fuck? If this dive is real, then the rando is saved. But we need to get the geo first. I can't reach that. Shade skip? <laughs> you can't die there. What do you mean? You can? What? How do you die there? Are there stalagmites? I don't think there's stalagmites there. Yeah, those are stalactites. The lagmites are the ones on the ground. Oh, Grub Song for one. A charm that I can use. <laughs> now we can check Grub Father. So you guys don't get to enjoy the grubs. Oh, Cyclone Slash for 11. Weaver Song for three. Oh, Lurian. 18 grubs. That better not be fake. I'm writing notes. Desolate Dive for seven. Okay. That's cool. Oh, Traveler's Garment. That's the one that scales your nail damage by how much speed you have. Look at all this. Oh, Hera? I was about to be like, look at all this crap. 
Uh, is this real though? I don't know if I want to get it yet, even if it is real. Because like, then I'll have cursed infected crossroads. But theoretically, there's a dreamer at Seer, at Grubfather, and at Iselda. So theoretically, I'm done. I can just beat the game. But I know it's bullshit. Those are curses. Probably all of them. <laughs> so, are there supposed to be two Heras? Uh, yeah, one of them is. Oh yeah, one of them is a curse. Yeah, they're both Hera. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Lake Eater. Then I'm gonna get Desolate Dive for myself. Because this is not a curse. Oh my god. It's a curse. But left Crystal Heart it might not be a curse. Ah, uh, I can't see. This better not last that long. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just gonna lose all my Geo now. <laughs> I'm looking this up on the GitHub. How long does this last? Until you traverse 10 different rooms. Okay, I'm gonna cheese this, because I am shameless. We'll traverse some rooms in Forgotten Crossroads where it's much easier. I actually kind of like dark room challenges. Uh, not ones where you can't practice, but... Oh god, I'm losing my Geo. No! <laughs> no, I lost my Geo. It's not like I had much. I had like 180 Geo, but... <laughs> Beans Garden Stag. <gasps> damage. <laughs> we finally got damage. It's not the best damage because Howling Wraiths is like... It's the most situational spell, but I'll take it. Curse of Darkness vanished. <laughs> Thank God. That was a tough curse, actually. I thought it wouldn't be a big deal because, like, it only lasts for 10 rooms. No, that was bad. That was rough. <gasps> nail upgrade. Now we can also socket something into the nail because we get another lost artifact slot. Hitting an enemy has a 25% chance to release a spore cloud that can spread to nearby enemies. Yes. I'm gonna check the Hunter's Journal. Hunter's Notes again. Elder Who gives a grub. Galien gives right Mothwing Cloak. Can I get to Galien right now? Oh, I don't have Lantern yet, but Lantern is... It's behind one of the people in the Hunter's Journal. Trumal Ogres. Oh yeah, those are pretty close by. Let's go back to Leg Eater. One thing that Leg Eater had was not a curse. So there's a lot of checks in Fungal. But there's also still a bunch in Crossroads. I'm going to go back up to Dirtmouth and make yet another loop through Crossroads now that I can see. Weakness. I'm already back down to six nail damage with a nail upgrade. So that's fun. Oh, I got a Bish Shriek. <laughs> My only damage is a Bish Shriek. Yo, Colette. Thank you for the good luck. It was a curse. And it's the worst, one of the worst curses, too. Uh, three health. Oh, what am I doing? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that's first. Jesus. <laughs> Amnesia. Wait, what does that one do? Amnesia lowers the damage of your spells by 10% or takes away a spell upgrade? No. Oh, thank God. I lost more health. No, dude. Normality gets rid of a charm or a relic randomly, I believe. Or does it just make a charm unusable? Okay, it made Joni's Blessing unusable. Tragic. Oh, great slash. Oh. Oh, I really need to be careful about not taking damage. Oh, perfect. Okay. Of course. <laughs> I lost a relic. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> Lumafly Lantern. Wait, I have... No, I don't have that. It's also a curse. I didn't add that many curses. I'm just getting them all at the beginning. Am I back to five nail damage? Yeah. I have a nail upgrade, so it should be flat nine damage, but it's modified down to the base nail. <laughs> I've gotten so many disorientation curses, too. Oh, that's pretty nice. 
Oh, false knight's room was stacked. Should I do this? Let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I got dive. And it's real. It's real this time. Holy crap, look at that logic. That's for one item location. How are you supposed to read that? <laughs> Normality, that gets rid of a charm. Not Grub Song. Okay, good. I've what? That's worse. Not darkness. <laughs> no. Well, at least I have a bench. Oh, I can I can throw on Fragile Heart. That helps. This is the perfect time to go through this room. No one can see anything. What did I lose? Okay, Spell Twister for three, whatever. It's real. We got Descending Dark. Nice. Oh, Shopkeeper's Key. Nice. Well, oh, Hidden Station Snag. That's a few, like, free checks. Don't get anxious, but if I take enough caffeine, my brain starts to feel tight. Oh, Unbreakable Heart. King Station Snag. Oh. Ooh, Vessel Fragments. Oh, I have a completed vessel. Uh, so now I have two out of three starting soul, I guess. Great. Let me let me look at the journal entries first. Furious Vengefly. I should definitely infect Crossroads then. Corpse Creeper has Awoken Dream Nail. Really? Seems fake. Hopper gives right Mantis Claw. Oh. Mantis Petra gives Quick Slash for two. That's actually pretty good. Defeat one more No Eyes to decipher No Eyes' Hunter's Note. <laughs> we actually have a vanilla journal entry. So I need to infect Crossroads so I can kill a Furious Vengefly to get the Tram Pass, so I can use the Tram Pass to get into Kingdom's Edge, to kill Hoppers, to get right Mantis Claw. And hopefully, it's not a curse. <laughs> oh, there's also Tram Pass here. Is this real? Oh, there's also Monomon here. Oh, it's fake. Now I can't even... What? That curse means I can't see my Geo? What the f chat? You gotta count my geo for me. <laughs> someone, someone, remember my geo, please. So I'm gonna uh, go farm this this card, I guess. Part of our geo. And it's fake. It's f fake. Stupidity is the one. Okay, it makes spells cost more soul. It's not the one that can get rid of uh, spell upgrade. So the other tram pass might actually be real then. <sighs> How much essence do I have? Essence 589. I need 888 or the Dreamer, I believe. Come on. Oh, okay, good. Oh, King Soul. How long will the Geo thing last for? It is permanent. It's permanent. Oh, 300 Essence. I can go get the Dreamer, which lets me get Infected Crossroads, which lets me get Infected Vengeflies, which lets me get Tramp Pass, which lets me get to Kingdom's Edge, which lets me kill Hoppers, which lets me get Bright Mantis Claw. Assuming none of those are cursed. I'm not selling all at once because of the Greed Curse. That makes it so it's like when I pick it up, my Geo gets split in half. Missed. Oh my god, it's fake. <sighs> spells cost three more soul. So spells cost 39 soul instead of 33. That's not too bad because they already cost 36. So what's three more? There's still one potential real dreamer at Grubfather for 16, or is it 17? Or 18? 18 grubs. Is anyone counting Geo? No, you don't have to. I already sold two arcane eggs. So like. <gasps> Movements. Finally, I can dodge that, see? Everything good. Unknown? Wait, that doesn't... Is that the UI removal thing? Disables the health, soul, geo, essence, or map display. Wait, it can disable the map? I fucking need the map. I'm doing a randomizer. Oh, there's another grub. I can go get the fake Lurian. Yay. I really hope it's real. Like, I deserve a dreamer at this point. There should not be four fake dreamers in a row. Not know how much soul we have now? No, it's cursed, so I can't see it anymore. Oh, soul catcher for one. It's kind of nice. Emptiness. Uh, 
Oh, I lost another health. <laughs> no. I was like, well, what does emptiness do? Oh, yeah. That's the worst one. Oh, Grupper flies elegy for two. Not bad. Oh, Stagnist. Oh, Lovekey. Hey, I made it. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen different types of enemies. So the reason why it's at 15, it should start at five different enemy types, but the reason why it's at 15 is because the first time I got the Omen Curse, I got hit and it applied a random permanent curse to me, which was the Omen Curse. So I'm at 15 now because it applied Omen again the first time I got it. King Bastard game. Oh, why did I... Curse of Lost? Removes a relic or a notch. It removed a, a notch. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is brutal, man. Yeah, let's go back to Crossroads. <laughs> I'm not risking getting a permanent curse again. Well, I'm not overcharmed. So as long as I don't change my charms, I'll be able to e keep this equipped and keep, you know, not overcharmed. I'll not be overcharmed. What the f am I saying? Oh, it's real. Actually, I actually have to show you. It's real. The grubs actually did something good, so I'll, I'll show the grubs on screen, give them some camera time. But now we have Infected Crossroads, so I need to kill Infected Vengeflies. So let me go to the stag. Oh, I have Hidden Station. It's fake. Why is it always fake? <laughs> For four? Dude, I have one charm notch. Why don't I stream on YouTube? I just want to stream on Twitch and then edit the videos for YouTube. Yeah, I need to look through the journal entries and see uh, if there's anything. Uh, is the pain worth the content? Yes, it's worth the content. Am I going to get started on fighting the infected flies for claw? Did I do that already? Because like they were supposed to give tram pass. Oh, I just need to kill one more. <laughs> Please be real. It's real. Once I get into Kingdom's Edge, I kill Hoppers, and they will give me Right Mantis Claw. According to the Hunter's Journal, which has regularly been full of shit, so... Die. Oh, Lumifly Essence. <gasps> That's the one where you can break logic. And you can pogo the electricity, which is really nice. It's real. <laughs> we finally fucking got vertical. I needed that. <laughs> and I can't even get up here, because I don't have left claw. Well, I can get this check. Oh, left shade cloak. That's nice. The fun thing about speedrunner versus hunters is the hunting aspect. The combat aspect kind of, like, becomes less and less interesting the more you get good at it, because really, like, the nail has a persistent hitbox, so if you're ahead of someone, you just kind of, like, move in front of them and spam nail behind you, and it's really hard for them to do anything about it. If the nail was, like, one frame, that might be better. I don't know. Oh, we have cloak in both directions. Oh, nail upgrade. Nice. Oh, Charm Notch. I have three Charm Notches again. That's how many I start the game with. <laughs> Can I get up here? Probably with, uh... Yeah. It seems it's not the first time you got this. Nope. No, I, I do really like the darkness. Like, it's super cursed, but, like, you know, that's what it, it's supposed to be. The omen is really interesting, too. Like, that's a really cool idea. Mask shard. Why do I have four masks? Oh, I got mask shards! Because I got a mask! That's why I have four masks. And finally, I don't have one base mask anymore. Oh my god. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Thought the lightning was a curse. <laughs> Imagine having to dodge all that. No, it's one of the uh, lost artifacts. And you can pogo it. Ooh, totem shard. 
Deal plus 20% damage after healing. Deep Focus gives plus 100%. And Quick Focus doubles the duration. Oh, this is for like a Quick Focus Deep Focus build? Oh, Beast Shell. What's that? Striking the enemy buffs minion damage for 5 seconds. Oh, that's for a pet build. <laughs> I like how they kind of complement uh, some of the builds that are already in the game. Awoken Dream Nail from Corpse Creepers. Maybe I should... Mm, I don't have Lantern, though, so I don't want to go to Deep Nest yet. I could go to Waterways. Waterways has a lot of checks. But this, this is a spot with a ton of checks. Like, right here. No. You know, I think Petrus actually had something. I could double check that. I think it was like a rancid egg. Oh, quick slash for two. Yeah, never mind. Not a rancid egg. Oh, swim. I can finally swim in water. Oh, that's acid. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I lost a relic. That's fine. Oh, I got a charm notch. Okay, that's good. Omen. Oh my god. This is such a brutal curse. Jesus Christ. No, I got hit. Amnesia? Oh shit. Oh, okay, I didn't lose any spells. <sighs> I meal prepped some curry yesterday. It's like one of the few things that I can cook, kind of. Well, I think. Yeah, I make mine from scratch. I don't use any, like, uh, curry mix or whatever. And I use coconut milk. Oh, Dreamgate. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> what the f*** is happening? Amnesia. Please don't make me lose a spell up there. Okay. I've gotten Amnesia like four or five times, and every time I'm like, am I going to lose a spell up yet? And I have not, thankfully. But my spell damage is down by like 50%. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, I... I'm dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I forgot this. I almost well, forgot Monarch Wings. <laughs> okay. We got Monarch Wings. Hell yeah. I have Unbreakable Hearts and two Masks, and I feel very blessed and grateful. Uh, Big B, you gonna do something? <laughs> Big B, hello? Hello? Do something! Hey! Oh my god. Dude. Okay, good. Thank you. And I lost the mask. <laughs> god damn it. I was just celebrating having an extra mask. Hey, we got some more. 1045 Essence. Arkoth was an average... Oh, Dash Slash. There's three checks. Holy crap. A Dreamer. Yeah. So we just need one more Dreamer and one more King Soul piece. Now, time to equip a second charm. Oh, Quick Slash. It is tricky to... Oh, I tried to kill that one. It's kind of tricky to see what's going on. Which one is stupidity? I'm pretty sure this is the one that increases soul cost, right? So I've got five of them, so it's 48 cost uh, spells and stuff. <laughs> so, that's cool. Nailsmith. If this is a curse, you know what's happening to you. Okay. Nailsmith survives today. <laughs> Dealing enough damage gives a honey coating that blocks one instance of non-hazard damage. Yes. I think I want to switch out the Luma Flies, maybe. Dashing decreases attack, cooldown, and nail or charge time for three seconds. I'm always dashing. Traveler's Garment synergizes with having its own kind of damage scales with the player's highest velocity over the past second. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, deep focus? Rents a egg. Oh, I need to check the egg shop. Charm Notch? Oh. Journal Entries. Void Heart. Shade Soul. Two Shade Souls. One of them's fake. Yeah, I think they're both fake. 
or one one's fake, but they both might be fake. But I can only get one with the rancid eggs that I have. Is everything gonna be real? Nope. That was Shade Soul. No. <laughs> Come on. I need five more and eight more for Shade Soul. I need a lot of rancid eggs. Holy crap. Yeah, Arcane is great. I really enjoyed it. I got a curse just for entering the room. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I didn't. That's lowering my spell damage more. Exploding husk? Oh, yeah, that probably is it, actually. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think I killed one before. The, uh, the extra nail slash speed is pretty nice, actually. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Let me give myself the, uh, Luma Fly Essence again. I can see what curse this is. It's gonna deal damage. <laughs> and I have one health. <laughs> God damn it. Just kill me. What am I doing? <laughs> I just lost my Geo too. Now we can confirm the Geo amount. Yep. Oh, I finished a mask. Let's see how long it'll last. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm gonna keep it this time. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with that. Amnesia. I'm down to 30% spell damage thanks to these curses, unless they got rid of a spell for me. It may have. Oh, it didn't. So I'm down to 30% spell damage. Cool. Even Descending Dark doesn't kill the enemies. That's how you know that they nerfed the shit out of it. <laughs> Fireball doesn't even kill a bench fly. <laughs> I've got like six or seven of those now. I might not even be able to cast two spells with a full soul meter now. Fun. <laughs> I think I'd rather have Corrupt Song. <clears throat> Corrupt Song. Uh, Soul Catcher might be better, because I have Quick Slash, yeah. I mean, my spells deal like 70% less damage, but... <laughs> Poor Dung Defender. Oh, Awoken Dream Nail. Oh, Charm Notch. Nice. What the heck? Void Emblem. Striking an enemy repeatedly builds up the damage of the next spell. Oh, it's probably not good because my spells are so nerfed. Oh, Mask Shard. Ludal Journal Entry. Pale Ore. That's good. I think that's everything here. It's enough for Voidheart. Oh, eggs. I need five, right? Oh, I have six. And I've already got Shade Soul, so the other Shade Soul is fake. I have to see. I have to see if it's real or not. Prepare for disappointment. <sighs> it's real. <laughs> we got Voidheart. Now, does Freda have the final dreamer? No, right ahead, Grimchild. <laughs> a Grimchild opens up a check, doesn't it? Actually, does it open up a check? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there's uh, Divine. I have Unbreakable Heart on, so... I don't know if I need to do all three. I don't think I do, right? Whatever, Grub. Oh, I just get the Grim fight right off the bat. Oops. Sorry, Grim. Why doesn't hitting Grim in his fat form do damage? I don't know. I guess they didn't just want you to get free damage, so they let you get soul, but it just doesn't count towards the boss's HP. And it kind of gives you an opportunity to heal, too. All this time I've uh, this treated the bats? <laughs> That's pretty funny. 
I mean, there's no way to know, like, if you don't have, like, a health bar or anything for, like, debug mod. I can't just do NKG, can I? No. Okay. I could just, like, take off Soulcatcher and use Quick Focus, maybe? Does Grubfather give money? Yeah. Might be worth grabbing. Although I don't think I need money anymore. I'm just gonna go to White Palace, so White Palace will have a Dreamer. Guaranteed. Does the Abyss have anything? I haven't checked uh, Shade Cloak. I don't think I've checked the uh, birthplace check either. Let's just take it nice and slow. Shit. No, I don't have left claw. It's possible. Oh, that was sick. How do you learn to speedrun? All those tiny things you have to learn in a long route would be hard. I got into speedrunning when Hollow Knight was kind of in its infancy, so I just did it really slowly. That. Ooh. I'm gonna need to pogo off the saw blade. Can I get high enough? Oh yeah, I have the... Oh no, I, I can't use the Pluma Flies because I will lose them pogoing. Uh, this might not be possible. I might need like... Oh yeah, that might be possible if you're like frame perfect or pixel perfect or whatever. Oh, it's... I did it. Okay. How am I supposed to get through the top spheres? Because they all come out at the same time, so I can't just we'll go through them. Not sure if I can. Uh, maybe I shouldn't even bother with this right now. Uh, the Dreamer could be somewhere else. <laughs> I have all of Deepness to do. Do I have Lanterns? Still no. Still no Lantern. Jesus. I do... S I fucking do zero damage. I want my regular Descending Dark back. Jesus Christ. Oh, I got a Durandu journal entry. Okay, so I have to go through my journal entries because there's a possibility that a Dreamer has been revealed to me and I just have to kill enemies to get it. And if that's the case, then I'm stupid. But I mean, we already know that, so like... <laughs> Grub, Soul Refill, Seal of Binding journal entry, Rancid Egg, 26 Geo, Soul Refill... Man, this is a journal rando, but most of the shit from the journal is junk. Okay. There is nothing of consequence in the journal. At least not right now. Holy shit, my brain hurts. I need to go to deepness. There's too many checks. Let's go. Infected Balloon Hunter's Notes. <laughs> oh, weakness. Am I just the Hollow Knight Chatter? No. Is this it? It actually is at the Whispering Roots. <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't get excited yet. Oh man, I have to do all this in the f***ing dark. <laughs> this could be the very last Dreamer. I'm eating these curses. <laughs> I don't give a f Omen is like the most annoying. Oh my god. I got a f another one. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Oops. And it got rid of a mask. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Omen is like the worst thing I could have got at this point. <laughs> By far. And I got it twice. I got an o Omen from the Omen. Oh, Curse of Weakness. Oh, Curse of Lost. I just need to kill one enemy and it'll go away. Thank fuck for this arrow, man. <laughs> I don't think this arrow was meant to help you do dark... Oh my god. How did it reset? <laughs> what the f***? It's not supposed to reset, right? <laughs> Watch this Whispering Roots be a curse, and I did all this for nothing. <laughs> I might just fucking quit if it's a curse. 
Ooh, more spiders. Diminish. What's that? Oh, f <laughs> your stupidity. It's real. <laughs> okay, thank fucking god. <laughs> it's real. Ah. If it was fake, I was gonna fucking break my PC. <laughs> Jesus. My nil damage is down to six again. Holy crap. Now I gotta kill something to end the curse. There we go. Radiance time. Thank you, Rando Gods. But also, f you, Rando Gods. <laughs> no, of course, don't say that. <laughs> I do such low damage. <laughs> it's gonna be slower than like any percent THK. We are in the Radiance phase. I basically have the base nail, like from the start of the game. It's like one extra damage. Right. I can still die to Radiance pretty easily, so I have to be careful. I do no damage. Holy crap. <laughs> I have I have like no damage on the boss. Under normal circumstances, like you do a lot more damage than this normally. Oh, obviously. Oh, I'm on the phase change finally. Okay. Oh, I didn't bug it out. Okay, good. If you go too high there, I don't know if it still happens on this patch, but on older patches you could uh, cause the black void wall to come up if you go too high when you double jump, and then you just lose the fight. It's gotta be dead now, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a surprisingly stressful regular Radiance fight. <sighs> We're done. <laughs> oh man, my shoulders hurt. <laughs> my cam. Locations checked 791. <laughs> That's a lot of locations, man. <laughs> Good God. Oh. Oh.